Hey everyone, welcome back to the How to Podcast series. I have my buddy here with me today. We're going to be talking about podcasting. We're going to be talking about social media. A masterclass. Ooh, everyone go, ooh. Uh, Victoria is here from A Contagious Smile. My buddy, Victoria. Hello, how are you? Hi, hey, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> um, inside joke for everyone. Apparently I'm green with big ears and I am now dirty deemed Yoda. Thank you for that, by the way. Absolutely. All right. Everyone needs to know, because if they haven't heard of you yet, they will by the end of this podcast, conveniently. But you've been you've been on the podcast before on Living the Next Chapter. Uh, your hubby's been on Dad Space. Your daughter's been on Living the Next Chapter. It's like a whole family thing going on. Tell everybody what you do at A Contagious Smile, because we need to talk about that right off the bat. We advocate for survivors of abuse, survivors of domestic violence, uh, survivors of emotional abuse. Um, we work with special needs individuals, special needs families. We have, uh, I advocate for helping people get preparation for court. I help people get out of the situations they're in and help the situation become safer until they can get out. I offer different classes to help them learn how to get back on their feet again. I go through the journey with you. You are not alone at any step and period of the time. Then we have also started breeding golden retriever puppies, which I think you saw one earlier. They're so cute. Mm -hmm. And yes. we help those in need get an emotional support dogs faster because the average wait time is five years, which is just not okay. And then on top of that, I have three different podcast platforms, not seven. I'm not old and great like you yet. <laughs> but um we have three we have a contagious smile where we bring inspiration and resources and survivors and amazing special needs people and let them tell their stories and we just have a great conversation we have teen talk where the kids have an unconditionally acceptable place to be heard recognized and make a change and then we have unstoppable which is filter free 18 and up where we really put people to the accountability test Nice. And so the original podcast was A Contagious Smile then? Right? Yes. Okay. And then I've written a couple of books or something like that. Mm -hmm. A couple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're a super nice person on top of that. So we got all oh. that covered, which is good. I'll pay you. Yeah. Right? All right. All right. Checks in the mail. Um, so talk a little bit about your podcast journey. How old is your original podcast? And tell me a little bit about the growth. It's a year old. Oh, gosh. I know we're in a toddler state and uh, we were, you know, there's over 3 million podcasts globally. And I'm so happy to say that we have held the top 1% for several months. We're in the wow. top 1% and we have right about 39 million followers. <laughs> okay, love so, his laugh. Don't you love his laugh? Yeah. See, okay. So he has the best laugh. Before the podcast, then, how long were you guys on social media before you hit record for the first time? I have been advocating for over 17 years, okay. and it just got bigger and bigger. And so I said, let's do a podcast. And I continue because I'm a nerd and I love to learn. So my degrees and certifications just kept growing and growing. And I learned how to do all sorts of fun marketing stuff. And I challenged myself all the time. Like we just set up a new um, Instagram because ours was hacked and it was developed and released on May 24th of this year. So we're right at about two and a half weeks or so. And we have already got 167,000 followers on that one. And so, yeah, it's crazy. Um, I, I never even TikToked until the podcast started. I will never tweet. I'm not a tweeter. Yeah. Um, so Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and I'm not forgetting. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. There you go. That's yeah. where you find us. So yeah, for a new podcaster listening and they're they're listening to your numbers and going, Wow, in a year, but they're 17 years behind that as well. So some perspective. You've been building this for quite a while, right? Yes, sir. So tell me about the the power of having a good brand, Contagious Smile is everywhere. Um, talk about that. I, I think that's really important to have 
to have a brand stick with it and then build a world around it, the community. Talk about your brand. Um, I started it because I don't care what your smile looks like, whether you know, you've had a stroke, whether you're like me and had both of your jaws broken, um, whether you have cranial facial things, everybody smiles. It's all different, but everybody smiles and that's what's make us unique and beautiful. And every smile tells a story. Yeah. So the chief cranial facial uh, doctor at my daughter's hospital always said to me when I lived there basically for six months, you need to be advocating because every time I see you, you're like, oh, you could be doing this and getting this and let me show you how to expedite this and this and this. And so I started to, and I started having like a small support group at the hospital because we were all in there anyway. And it kind of grew and it kind of grew and I wanted it to be a warm, welcoming kind of situation because we've been there and we not only can sympathize with people, but we empathize because we're in there one way or another, we've been in that situation. So how do you not smile and get a sense of happiness? And, you know, I'm sorry, people can say what they want, but if you ever get around, like you've met Faith numerous times, that kid is the happiest kid and all she wants to do is help other people. Right. She's had 34 surgeries. We lived in the NICU for six months. She was said she would never survive. The doctors absolutely said it wouldn't happen. She coded every day, seizures every day, feeding tube, tracheostomy, mandibular distractions times two, you name it. We, God forbid, we went through it. And I said, she's coming home. I don't know why you're wasting your breath because she's coming mm -hmm. home. And she did. And she's overcame every obstacle that's been in her way. And so a contagious smile, it, it's, you know, life is too short not to smile and be happy. One thing I love too is you did something unique I love is you reached out and did like uh, where you can get a celebrity to leave you a video and stuff. And you use that content from big name celebrities and you repurpose it and share it to the world, which helps you get more views because it's like, oh, that's a person I recognize from music or movies or TV. And you're leveraging that. I love that. So can you talk a little bit about the idea behind using celebrity in your brand? Well, I didn't start it. Um, Faith had the honor of having a long conversation with Jeff Foxworthy, who is one of the nicest guys. He's hysterical. And then we've had other celebrities that have met us, um, like the group 112, which I guess I'm too old. I don't know who they are. But when they met us, they literally, I was like, I'm, they asked to take their picture. They wanted their picture with Faith. And I said, I'm so sorry. I mean, no disrespect. I don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, that's okay. We're kind of like a, an R&B new kids on the block. And I was like, oh, good for you. No clue. <laughs> and so they took pictures with Faith. And, you know, when I had talked to some of my friends and they had told their kids, they were like, oh, one, 12. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know who that is. Like, I don't know. And then we've had other celebrities reach out um, and and talk. Like, I'm a huge Blacklist fan, huge. And so are the co-hosts of Team Talk. And Aram was the best. He did, like, an eight-minute video talking about uh, he was asked by Raymond Reddington to find Faith because she released a contagion in the air. And it was the best. And <laughs> he not only did that, but he went into this um, – dialogue where he was like, I heard you're having another surgery. I think it's number 34. And the most personal, loving, caring person was this man. And he was so grateful and thoughtful and sweet. And the message was so amazing. And then uh, Gary Lavox from Rascal Flats. Yep. Um, there's been some huge names and we are just humbled by it um, because of it. My daughter got to sing with Wilson Phillips, uh, China Phillips. She came on and uh, left a message and we're getting ready to have her on and do it. But she did this big video for Faith. And it's amazing because you hear so much negativity, Dave, when what's going on in this world. Yeah. And then you have people that are like, we need more people like these kids that are that don't take anything for granted. They live for every moment. They smile for every day. No yeah. one, not you, not me, not Faith, not anybody is promised tomorrow. These kids recognize it more and they live for those moments and you never see them like hate the world, even though that they have a lot going on in their life. Amazing. So talk a little bit about how podcasting fits into your plans for your promotion and social media. How important is podcasting for you? And what are you loving about it? 
Um, I love that. I hate how I've met the people I've met because of the circumstances, but I love when somebody can come up to me and say, I listen to you. You genuinely care. It's not like you're just interviewing and it's reading questions or you generally engage with the people you listen and I get inspiration. And because of you, I left because of you, I'm free. Mm. And I said, well, now we're going to start the journey and we're going to bring back that inner light because it never faded. And for people to have that access and hear stories, some story from some amazing person is going to resonate with someone. And they're going to say, that is me. I am worth fighting for. I am worth getting out. Nobody raised their hand and asked to be in this situation. No right. one. Yeah. And so this just gives you uh, more of a inside look of people who've actually been through it, gone through it, or are going through it, and how you're not alone in it. And I went through it alone. It is the worst thing anyone could ever ask for. And I went through it alone pregnant. So that's one of the main reasons it's so important to me is so people don't go through and experience what I did. And to know that people out there are listening and it makes a difference and they know they're not alone, it's worth it every step of the way. And the nice thing too is as a listener, no one knows what you're listening to. It's a very personal interaction between host and listener because no one knows. You could be listening to music, you could be doing whatever, and you could be in a really bad situation getting fed by someone like you and your content and secretly building up what it takes for them to, to make the change they need to make and be empowered through your content. And no one even knows right. that they're and, listening, right? right. So it's a very I, personal bond there. I like that. It is a very personal bond. I actually even go through steps on how to make your house because it's not a home. It's not a relationship. It's a situation because a relationship is 50 50. It's a respect. And that is not being given at the time. <laughs> I give tips on how to make the house a safer environment so you can get out. Uh, it's never going to be completely safe until you're no longer there. But there are steps that can be taken. I help come up with an escape plan so that you can get out because that is the most dangerous time. Um, a lot of people go back. It's an average of like seven to eight times that people return. And it's because their escape plan wasn't executed or even created. And so we make sure that we can help you do that. I tell people I have hearing aids. And so I tell people all the time, black face your phone. So it looks like it's not on and listen to a show on your iPad or your ear pods or whatever those things are called. And I listen in my hearing aids and nobody knows. So if you're sitting there and you have to be next to your abuser, and he's watching a movie, watching football, playing a game, but he needs to see where you are at all times. Put this on. He's not going to hear it. And listen to inspiration. Get your strength from us. Get your strength from others because you used to be strong. You are stronger. You're stronger than him or her, whoever the abuser is, because they're a coward. And you are stronger than you know, and we are not going to let you forget that. Mm. See, and that's, that's what I love. Um, I really do believe that podcasting can can save someone's life. Really. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, I totally believe that. So, and you're not going to get that on your AM FM radio. It's not going to happen. Right. <laughs> Unless you want like four hours of commercials in there too. So you get like one-on-one -on -one contact with a host who cares about you providing content that can help you and your family. That's, and it's free and it's everywhere and it's accessible in any country and all the time and 24 hours a day. Like, that's what I love about podcasting. It's really, really exciting, right? It is. Yeah. It is. Cool. Tell me, uh, do you have any other um, anonymous victory stories from the podcast that just, when you got the email or the message, you're like, oh, this is why I'm doing this? I got, I get emotional. Mm -hmm. I had a podcast person reach out to me and say, I want to be on the show, but I'm scared. I said, well, let's just talk. And so we did. And I can't say who they are because I haven't aired it. Um, we came on and beforehand, I always tell everybody there's certain things that they need to know up front. If you want to use a different name, I'm happy to change your name to whatever you want. We won't show video, so we won't show who you are. I do not disclose geographic locations for your safety and protection. I'm that way across the board so that everybody knows when they come on what to expect. And if we get done and you're like, Victoria, I, I just, my heart was there, but I'm scared to put it out. I'll delete it. It's not about my ratings. It's not about yeah. how many shows. It's about your comfort. And one of the biggest 
things you can do in your healing process is to talk. And if that's what it takes and I have to delete it, I don't care. I'll delete it. That's fine. But to be able to do that. And I had someone tell me that they came on and they didn't tell me at the time, but they opened up and told me things they've never told a single living soul before. And they got out and they have fought and fought and won custody of the kids. And now she is in school going after her dream of what she wanted that she didn't ever have before. And she left with everything, but she said, you know what? I left the richest person I've ever known in my life. She laughed and said, I'm more than Trump does because I have my life. I have my kids yeah. and I can make money. I have a roof over my head and to hell with the rest of it. Yeah. She said, you saved my life. And I, I was dumbfounded. And she said, I have something I've done for you. I want you to know, and you'll know about it shortly. I had no idea. None. And then come to find out that I am now nominated for podcaster globally of the year. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not going to win. Are you kidding me? But if we do, if we win, then I'm using that platform to, to talk more and help more. That's, that's the goal. So Victoria, talk to the podcaster who has a story, can help people, but they're afraid to start a show. What, what would you say to them? Not through me, but to them directly. They're thinking that a great idea, got a great story. They're ready to hit record, but they're afraid to either do it. They're nervous about technology, whatever it is. Something's blocking them. Take the block out of the way. What would you say to them? First thing I would tell you to do is go talk to somebody who can help you like Dave. And he does the how to podcast and he's amazing. And he lets me stop in and be in there with him, which I'm so honored and grateful for, that you never know. You never know. It's like I tell my daughter every day, I want one compliment to somebody a day. And it's heartfelt. Like you're in line somewhere and you just say, you know what? I love your hair. And you know she's insecure about it. Maybe she's going through cancer. Maybe it's whatever. Mm. I had to shave my head for surgery. I cut four and a half feet off my hair when we were at the Make-A-Wish gift uh, trip for my daughter's one of her other people that were there. And it's like, just compliment someone. And what is really not fair in its own way is that you get so much fulfillment from seeing someone else smile when in reality you're doing it for them. But your voice, the message that you want to put out there could save a life. And if it saves one life, it is so worth it. It is so worth it because that could be the message that that individual desperately needed to hear and hadn't heard anywhere else until they came across you. And that is the change that needs to be made. All of these movements, they all started with one voice. And you have a voice, and you need to use it. Mm, nice. Talk about um, social media. What are you loving right now in social media? What's working for you guys? Um, just give us some insight about tying our podcast to our social media to support our community. What, what are you doing? Um, I actually do, because Dave is brilliant, I have done it where I put all of my shows also on YouTube under a podcast uh, playlist. So everybody can do that and listen to that as well. I do, I guess I call them like little movie premieres where when I have a show getting ready to come out, I do like a preview of the show. And also when... I have wonderful people come on and maybe they've written a book or they have something coming on. I will um, promote that for them. I will, you know, say they have a book coming out. I'll put the book cover on and like a little excerpt from the interview about my book is going to be released on this date. And this is what it's about. And I'll put that out there everywhere for them. It's doing the extra mile, and the extra step out of the genuine goodness of your heart that just makes everybody see that. They resonate to it because it's so hard to find. And then they stay with you. You have incredibly loyal people when you take a moment. I do everything I can to interact with the people who make comments or, you know, anything. If I post somewhere and somebody says, I needed this today. Thank you so much. I'll write them back and say, you're so welcome. I'm glad that what I wrote could help you. You know, thank you for taking the time to tell me. Um, if somebody you know makes a statement and they're unhappy i'll send them a private message and say if you ever want to talk i'm here i am i'm someone who doesn't sleep i 
work 20 plus hours a day, literally. And I will stay up and listen. I will be an ear. I'll be a hand. I'll be, well, one hand. I'll be a, a voice. I, I will be your support. You're not alone. And most people think they are and they're not. And that makes such a huge difference. I think my situation might have not lasted to the length that it did had I had someone there. And I just, I don't ever want anyone to go through what I went through by themselves and not have support. So the people listening, as you're thinking about starting a podcast, if you haven't picked up on it by now, Victoria has this thing called passion. <laughs> uh, and I don't think you can have an effective podcast without passion. Right. So if you can, if you go buy all the gear and equipment and, buy the website, get all the stuff, get all the toys, and then go, Victoria, I don't even know what to talk about. It's like, mm, okay. Or I can talk about this topic for maybe two, three episodes, and then I'm bored. I want to talk about something else. You have passion for what you do, and it shows in everything, everything that you do, and all your interactions with everyone, and how you show up in the world. It's just who you are. Yeah, I don't think you have an off button. It's kind of like the uh, the local 7-Eleven corner store that doesn't have locks on the doors because they're open seven days a week, 365 days a year. You That's you. You are you don't have a, a lock mechanism on you. You're just, that's who you are. So, that, so I think that's one thing we need to do is develop more passion in our, in our topic and how we show up because that's going to, that's going to bring community to us as well. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. What else do you do to build community around the podcast and what you guys are doing there? I offer classes, uh, support groups. They're free. I offer for people. And don't get me wrong. I, I got the background in education. And, and yes, you do. I tell everybody, you need to go sit to a therapist or a psychiatrist, a psychologist, and go sit with them and talk. But if you ask me and you ask a lot of other survivors, I would much rather sit with someone who unfortunately has been through it and can empathize and understand than someone who's just read about it because it's a totally mm -hmm. different thing. Yeah. Uh, people don't grasp what it's like. And that is a, a like, so to be offering classes like how to take care of yourself, how to deal with the trauma, how to come out of it. And so we are now starting something brand new where we are going to do master classes for everyone. And in all different ways, because I know a lot of survivors don't want to go back out in the public workforce. They want to stay home. They want to like try to reinvent themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we offer different ways of doing that, different options of ways of doing that. And that's another reason the master classes are going to be so effective is because we're going to offer a variety of them that will help, whether it's bringing resources into your journey of healing or maybe bringing insight into how to doing something that will promote you into a place where you can work from home. It's just a big difference of from A to Z, basically, um, will be the master class at a fraction of the cost you'll be able to find it anywhere else. Compared to, yeah, all the other places that are like $3,000, $7,000, like, who's got that kind of money? I don't understand how you come up with these numbers. But talk, talk a little bit about some of the classes you have planned. Who are you thinking about? Uh, marketing this to all that kind of stuff as well. Each class will be marketed towards the proper community. Um, <clears throat> I have, like I said before mine, I've never partnered up with anyone ever, but I have partnered up with an amazing individual who has his own app. It's, it's not calm, but it's like a much better version of calm. And He's written it himself. You don't just get this and then go on your merry way. He does, and he's actually been working with me for months to help. He works with PTSD. He works with women who've survived all sorts of trauma, and he does it with you. It's not like when you go sit on a couch and you feel like you're a patient number and that's it. He participates with you. And at first, I was so skeptical. I'm the first to admit it. I interviewed him, and I was like, "What up? What up?" horse manure. And then I told him that I told him that numerous times. And then he was like, well, why don't you just let me show you? And I'm like, yeah, okay. And now if I don't listen <laughs> to my sound therapy, I feel like I'm missing something during the day. Hmm. And he makes these frequencies. He actually custom makes the frequencies, uh, depending on where you are in your, in your journey. And like, I have one I listen to every day. It's 36 minutes and one second. And I put it on in the background 
and it it's calming and he helps you like if you're about to get a trigger or something just triggered you how to work through it and i told him i said i'll give you a hundred percent i will be devoted and loyal on this let's see what it does and now i swear up and down by him and so he has done something amazing he has offered all of a contagious smiles family a uh free trial on the icon or the app i'm sorry for uh the sound therapy and you get to go and listen to it it's cheaper than calm it's much more amazing it's actually written for you and then on top of it he's going to do a master class uh he works a lot with like ceos and big executives and things like that uh he's incredibly incredibly great at what he does he's helped me tremendously like as a as a person who's been on a couch with a therapist for decades he has done so much good for me and i told him that i now am his biggest advocate because mm. i will be the best review for him. He's going to do a podcast. Uh, we have um, a bunch of other people in the pipeline that I don't want to secure their name just yet, but I've already, we sent out, say for instance, let's just do a hypothetical 10 invitations and I've already gotten nine confirmations, yes. but until it's a done deal, I don't want to do the, you know, say for, for sure in case it's something yeah. happens, but I'm so excited about this one person in general and I'm looking at him. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, yeah, like you don't understand. I'm so honored and excited that you would take the time to come on and be a masterclass instructor for us. It's amazing. And the other part of this is it'll help to raise some money towards the Contagious Smile and support what you guys do as well. So there's a way to, to give back into your community from your community. They can reinvest it back into what you guys are doing as well. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, too. Well, what are you going to do a masterclass about? It's going to be on well. You when you talk about people wanting to work from home and and that as that that's a point of safety, I think, for a lot of people as well, to not have to be out in the world and sitting in a cubicle and all of that. You're healing, right? So to be able to work from home is a good thing, and you can do that through podcasting. It's, it's going to take a little bit of work, but there is a possibility that you can you can learn so much and you can gain a lot of confidence through podcasting as well. You can find your voice when you haven't had a voice. Um, you can get confidence. You can build up your skills, your talents, start designing websites and helping social media and recording and editing. There's so many things you can learn that are teachable. So that's the one thing I'm excited about is somebody coming in saying, Victoria, I can't do this. You don't know that I'm not, I have no technical skills at all. There's no way I can do this. And then have them go through the time together, walk out on the other side going, I can do this. Like, I, I, know, I, can, I really can I do that this. with you. See, that's <laughs> what I want to see. I want people to have that experience. Well, I can tell it all your audience firsthand. I came to you over like a year ago and you were my first. And I said to you, I don't know if I can do this. I'm a little nervous. This is not my wheelhouse. And you gave me so much advice and you took me under your wing. And it, all that I am and where I am is because of you. And so yeah. when I say that, people should come to the masterclass because you are the master. 13% of that is me. It's not 13%. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just made that up. Um, <laughs> no, there's a, there's, you know how that, the saying about the student becomes the teacher. That's what I would say about you is that anything that we've, any conversation we've had, you have definitely outgrown that and far surpass me, which I'm excited about because I want good things to happen to good people. That's, that's my goal. Um, and to see that happen for you guys is great. So, you know, so podcasting can change your world. So we're going to go through that in the class together. And, um, and then on top of that, try to bake in something. So you have some time with me um, to kind of go through stuff and have access and work through the details outside of a class type setting so that you have that support as well. So and you're in really 129 important. countries or I'm 190, 193 now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. See? So I'm in every country except North Korea. Do they podcast there? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think I can get in there, Yeah. but I'm in China. Hey, so there you go. There um, go. So there you go. Right. So that's every country in the world except for one. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. 
There you go. There you go. So it's fun. Um, so before we go, Victoria, all this information about the classes, about a contagious smile, about the podcast, all the resources you have to help families and people in need, everything is where? Where do we go? Start with a contagious smile.com. Yep. That is the website. And there's a plethora of information. If you're a survivor going through this, don't ever say you're a victim because you're not your survivor. Yep. And I hate the word victim. Yep. So we're going to get that out of the vocabulary. You can go on there. There's plenty of resources. We even have a moving company for every state in the United States. I'm working on getting it outside of the U.S. that will move you for free. Uh, we also have the coalition for every single state listed out there as well as plenty of other resources. And so you can go there and it's also very simple that if somebody's approaching you when you're on the site, you just hit the little button and you're good. They won't know. It looks more like a special needs or children's area. We have information for kids and everything in between and even about the podcast. And we will have stuff on there about the masterclass coming up and on, we have a Facebook page, a contagious smile. We have groups that are private lockdown. You can reach me on Facebook at Victoria Cure. You can Instagram at the Contagious Smile, YouTube, Contagious Smile. TikTok is a Contagious Smile. We're, we're pretty across the board at Contagious Smile. Nice. You guys are doing very well on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> I think our last, we got, we averaged somewhere between on the very low end, 80 or 90,000 views to 1.8 million. It, it just depends on what we're doing per view. <laughs> Uh, per post. Yeah. So yeah. we're very lucky. And it's not because of me. It's because of people like you who come on and are amazing. That's why we're where we are. So if you've ever thought that you don't have a voice or you'll never reach the world, it's not possible. It is possible. It is. Right? Anything is possible. Yeah. It's not the word I, I'm impossible is not really impossible. It's I am possible. They just mm. forgot to put the apostrophe in. Mm -hmm. There you go. I love it. It's good. Yeah, that's that's nice. I love it. Um, so yeah, so the classes are going to start roughly when? Our first class is with Mr. Matt Aponte on the 24th of June. Good. So this month it starts. So, And how often are we going to run classes? Do you have any kind of idea? Is it going to be like once a year, multiple times? Any once idea? every at least once or twice a month but my goal is every single saturday oh wow okay and when i have a goal you know I'm, I'm oh gonna yeah watch, watch out. out watch out <laughs> awesome and again uh, victoria if people want to talk to you directly um when they email you directly it's not going to some team in some office building and you never see it it's coming to you directly yes. yeah. i'll answer you you will get me okay that's I think that's one thing I want to make sure people understand is that there's there's confidentiality there. There's a, a person that understands answering that email, not some assistant somewhere. So nope, you stay with me. I don't pass you off. Yeah, there you go. So that's what I want people to understand is having Victoria in my life, everything I've seen from her and her family are top notch. So Thank you're you. loved and trusted. You have a trusted person here that has your back and wants to see you thrive Thank you. and uh her story is amazing so tell them about your book as well before we go who kicked first is the first book i released and mm -hmm. it's my memoir it took me over 10 years to get the nerve to release it i was very hesitant and then i had someone tell me it saved their life and so yeah. it. who kicked first is um amazon and that's where it is and all the proceeds go back to helping our little four-legged furry friends good we'll have a link in the show notes everyone go buy the book and donate a book to a friend of somebody out there to a woman's shelter or something just buy one and send it to them even if you don't yeah if you've read it great but now order another one and send that one as well so victoria thank you for being part of the how to podcast looking forward to the master class and i want you front and center for that taking notes all right yeah, yeah. Thank you, awesome. And I'm, I can't wait to sit on your class as well. So it's going to be fun. Oh, boy. oh here we go. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> uh, all right, everyone. Go check out the show notes uh, again, Victoria. Thank you for your time. Thank you.